Hello everyone welcome to the world of chemistry today we are here to gain some knowledge on the topic common lab apparatus and equipments but before knowing anything about lab let's recall again what does chemistry mean chemistry is the study of substances in terms of composition it means what the substance is made up of its structure how is it put together properties what characteristics does it have and the main reactions how does it behave with other substances but in order to perform some reactions to perform some experiments we need a special lab where all the systems all the requirements must be fulfilled and that room is known as chemistry lab chemistry lab is a special room present to perform chemical experiments and to observe the process properly and the experiments are done by the use of various kinds of apparatus but before going to the apparatus let us know what are the important things that a chemistry lab should contain the first thing is the working table the working table is attached with the sink along with a tap where continuous water supply is given it also contains the shelf where the important chemicals are being kept and a bunsen burner is attached with the table in order to perform the experiments a chemistry lab also has a reagent shelf where all the chemicals are being arranged properly it should have exhaust fan in order to remove all the smell of the chemicals and poisonous gases and the most important it should have a dustbin in order to throw all the useless products in it now let's move on to the chemistry laboratory and here in this part we are going to read about the safety rules and the glassware and equipments the first safety rule is listen to or read the instructions carefully before attempting to do anything before doing any experiment before doing any work in the lab we should always listen and follow properly the instructions that has been given by the teacher carry out only the experiments assigned by your teacher whatever things had been told to you you should follow that much only protect your eyes here in this you should protect your eyes properly because there may be any accident which can destroy your eyes properly inform your teacher if you wear contact lenses the next safety rule is wear appropriate protective clothing your clothing should cover your legs to the knees shorts are not appropriate for the laboratory lab aprons can be used to protect good clothing because if by chance accidentally any chemical falls on your cloth the apron will protect your clothes wear shoes that cover your feet without using the sandal you should wear the shoes which will cover your full feet so that if any chemical spills it will protect you do not play eat or drink in the lab because this is not the place where you should play or eat because many harmful chemicals are present and it may harm harm you do not taste any chemical during lab work keep your hands away from your face tie your long hair back roll up loose sleeves do not smell any chemical directly because it may harm you wash your hands with soap and water before leaving the lab know the safety equipments 
and the proper way to use it never work alone in the lab because it may create any dangerous situation remember that the lab is a place for serious work and you are not allowed to misbehave or do anything which is not allowed handle hot objects with proper care and attention obey all the safety instructions given by your teacher or found in the experimental procedure heat the test tubes at an angle demonstrate safe behavior in the lab because the way you behave it shows how well behaved you are and how you listen to your teacher properly now some glass apparatus and the uses are as follows the first one is test tube it is used to heat small quantities of chemicals during the experiment second one test tube holder used to hold the test tube during the experiment the third one is test tube rack it is the rack where the test tubes are being kept during the experiment or after the experiment test tube brush it is used to clean not only the test tubes but all the narrow mouthed glassware next one is beaker this one is used to prepare and sometimes heat the chemicals and we can find various sizes of the beakers as well the next one is flask it is used to store sufficient chemicals during the experiment and sometimes it is also used for heating the first type is the round bottom flask here you can see the bottom of the flask is round this one is the conical flask as because its shape is cone like and this is the flat bottom flask its bottom is flat next one is the measuring cylinder this is also found in various shapes and it is mainly used to measure the liquid chemicals before doing the experiment the next one is the funnel it is used to transfer liquids as well as during the filtration motor and pestle this is a kind of grinder that you found in your kitchen it is used in the lab to grind the solid chemicals into the powdered form next one is the tripod stand it is made up of iron and is used to keep the apparatus on during the heating wire gauge it is a wire mesh having asbestos placed in between it is used for the uniform distribution of the heat so that the bottom of the container uniformly gets the heat all over bunsen burner it is used for heating purpose so these are the few uses of some common lab apparatus i hope you understood the chapter well Thank you